Hey, what's going on? Will my deal back again with the creative core with another rendition of Full Speed. Mm. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we're going anime on them this time. As you can see, I am decked out in some Akuski wear and some cool looking mask thing on my face, but I ain't gonna get too deep into it right now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna, um, we're gonna jump into this and, you know. I'm a comment. I'm a comment to this. You know. Let's let's go for a ride. <clears throat> All right. As you can see, I'm starting off in Capture One, as I always do when I'm doing my pre-prep work. And um. You know, I'm gonna just bring my guy over to Photoshop and do the normal thing first, which is to extract my subject from the background. This little costume getup is a put together outfit that I was doing for Halloween, but I never got around to posting it. It was, um, I was doing a lot of Halloween pictures and mixing it with fashion. And it was based off a lot of these masks I bought. So some of the masks I got hanging up on the wall, I haven't had a chance to shoot them. I'll probably get eventually get around to doing it and have some free time but with this setup I have this mask which came from my cosplay outfit which I haven't even shot yet uh, from Demon Slayer but I mixed it in with um, an Akatsuki jacket uh, a sword from the character from Demon Slayer that I'm going to cosplay if you know you know and a red velvet blazer with a watch and a black suede shirt giving off Yakuza vibes, giving off kind of assassin, you know, vibes. And um, drop a little background in there with a, a temple. Now I'm gonna try to blend the colors. I'm gonna adjust my luminance and try to blend it well with the background first before I do anything. As you can see, the hues and the saturation, I try to even it out. If it's too bright, I dim it down. I'll put all this in detail. I need you guys to go sign my page, go sign up with my Patreon, and follow me on Instagram. Like and share and subscribe to the page too for more uh, detail work. Yeah, right now I'm just playing around with the curves, making adjustments, um, color matching, if you will. Yeah, look how look how looks like I'm actually out there. Outside of the bright brightness on my head, you know, that's kind of hard to blend in. I want to say it's hard to blend in, but essentially when you're shooting, you want to kind of find a background that matches you as a subject. And I'm just taking a pen tool and I'm going to be extracting out all these backgrounds on the temple that I don't want because I'm going to put my own background back there. Yep. And using a pen tool is probably the most precise tool to use in Photoshop, I think when it comes to extracting anything, it's very precise compared to a brush. Drop me a nice little sky in there. I forgot about taking these out. Let me go ahead and remove these two. That's why you always use mask in Photoshop and uh, smart objects so you don't lose detail. And it's non-destructive work. You know, dropped another sky in there, kind of blend all of it in there. And Photoshop, you could drop as many skies in there as you want. Now, don't be, don't be, don't be shy on the sky. Don't be shy on the sky, man. Keep working, I think, till you find your nice little blend. Brush some out. Keep some in there. See, I'll put like four or five in there already. Play with the blending modes. You know. You want to create something different, you know. Put an orange little tint on there. And I'm going to brush in some color right there and change the blending mode. And kind of make those areas of the sky pop out more. I'm just painting over the areas I want right now. See, by painting on the temple, because the temple is going to, you know, pick up on that light that the sky is bringing out. So what you want to do to get a better blend is go ahead and paint the, the, the colors that's similar to the area where the temple is. 
paint it around the temple and then blend it and it'll make it seem like the temple is actually in that environment because a car, a light pole, anything out there is going to pick up that color tone, whatever uh, the sky and environment is going to be giving out. I'm just creating some different atmospheres right now within the temple. I'm going to drop myself back in there. Now I'm going to paint that around me. I always try different brushes too. I like to use this smoke brush. I, I pick the smoke brush and I just pick random colors and I just get the paint. I'm getting more into painting in Photoshop right now. It's cutting loose. It helps me when it comes to drawing out uh, environments, matte painting. If you get good at like sketching what the idea you have in your head and just sketching it out first, and then you can go add the stock images on top. That's a good mastery. I'm trying to get to that level. I could have been doing it a long time ago. I just like, uh, you want to learn nothing new. I see how beneficial it is now. So I'm like a lot of areas where you, you could be cloning and stamping. Well, a lot of people that clone and stamp or try to, um, you know, heel brush. I'm like, just paint it in and add some texture to it. It'll look just like it. People won't even know. Add a little gauzy and blur to it. You see now I'm drawing around myself to add this extra level of highlight um, that's coming from this, the clouds as you can see give me that nice little blend because if I don't have that around me now I want to create that because if the sunlight is coming I mean you go take a picture yourself you see the light coming in so it's gonna bounce off your back so you gotta paint that on your back to give it a nice little blend I'm gonna do the same thing with these little tassels. So some of the parts I had to draw out because it was on the white background, but with the brush, you know, pick the right color, you can just draw those back in. That's what I just got to talking about, about learning how to draw. And uh, sometimes it's best to do that than sitting there stressing yourself out like, oh, I can't Photoshop this the background out. And just draw it in there, dude. And, and someone gotta be real anal to uh, sit there and, and try to zoom in that deep. You'd be like, oh man, that's not that. Whatever. So I painted all that in, added some noise to it, a little gauzy and blur. Don't look the wiser. I do want to give myself a little sharing guard though. Stretch out the smoke a little bit. Nice little gangster looking dude. A Jap black, a black Jap. Like Afro Samurai without the Afro. Yeah, this could be like a 2022 20, Afro Samurai. Ooh, I need to cosplay that. I wonder if I go get them bands. When I'm a broke bending cigarettes, he always like to smoke. That'd be a cool cosplay. Black Samurai. As you can see, right, I'm just adding colors everywhere. Wherever the light I think is bouncing off of me, I'm going to paint it in. I mean, majority of like photo manipulations, they already would call it a photo bashing or um, digital um, painting. It's really just like um, matching colors. The more realistic it looks and the, the better, you know, response you can get from the, the crowd. But you got to play around with colors a lot and learn them. You know, and don't be scared to use certain ones. Learn your blending modes. See now I'm, I'm trying to create this little glowing eye right now. Like my left eye has a Sharingan in it. And for those who don't know what Sharingan is, that comes from Naruto, from the Uchiha clan. A clan who uh, eyes turn red whenever they get angry or they want to power up, I guess, like Goku from Dragon Balls. And these dudes are pretty raw. I mean, they, they can see... With their eyes, they can like see like st your your moves steps ahead before you make them. And some of them have certain eyes that can just put you in a, a genjutsu, which will um, put you in a, a world of imagination, I guess I would say. And you believe something's going on and it's not. It's almost like a hypnosis, or I would say like a 
what I say is like a it, it just mess you up. You don't want, you don't want to. They say when you usually run up and run up to these guys, just keep your eyes closed. <laughs> don't look in their face, you know, because they'll have you doing something you got no business doing. You know, uh, pretty cool clan though. Very emotional dudes though. I think that's, they say that's how the eye developed because they were so emotional and cared so much about family and uh, crazy backstory. I, I guess I mix it all up. I got I got the uh, the Kotsky mixed with a Demon Slayer mask mixed with Uchiha and a little bit of fashion, just a little something different. You know, just still trying to make the background look good. Playing around with that. Looking for any gaps, any uh, holes or issues. Ain't there go. Just go ahead and paint it in. And you really get to that mode too when you be sitting there working on something and it just don't work. You're like, you know what? You just grab the brush and just start painting it. Forget it. You want to sit there and stress over something you can't fix. You're like, just get it done. I'm adding a little blur to the background. Kind of add some depth of field, a little space between me and the background. I'm just going to keep painting and painting, try to just blend it in. As you can see, my computer is moving slow. <laughs> um, I know, I, you know, I, I noticed though, when, when you pick like huge brushes and get to painting, sometimes your computer just like slow, I don't know, maybe it's just mine. It kind of slows down on you. Try to go big, man. You can go big or go home. Sometimes you just need a big brush, especially if you're trying to paint an atmosphere like I'm trying to do right now. I'm just trying to like paint like smoke, like haze. I'm pretty sure they got some brushes out there, some haze brushes. I just have to like looking at. That's another thing. I gotta organize my brush catalog. You know, I strongly uh, suggest that to anybody who's um, using Photoshop, man. Organize your catalog. Cause look, a lot, look at all those brushes I got. Did you see that? Look at all them brushes. I got like light brushes. I've been downloading brushes on Photoshop for like years. How, how long have I been using Photoshop? Since I've probably been using Photoshop for 10, 12 years. And I just been transferring brushes to each edition. And I got so many brushes. Like this right here is like a light street brush, as you can see. Paint like light rays. And um, I like to use this brush in many different ways though. Uh, to add and extract because them same brushes you can go on the mask and paint out the mask so you can delete what you don't want by using like the ray brush and it kind of gives a really good look I think a lot of people won't like utilize that I'm like, okay you know you can paint out stuff with the same brush right sometimes it don't have to always be about adding stuff I'm like you can you just put you could put a mask on a truck and go pick a light ray brush and then just add a mask to the truck and, and paint out like that out of the truck instead of having to grab a pen tool or something like that. I may start doing that more too. Now that I'm talking about it, it's giving me a good idea. I might be able to create something different. You know, if we get 100 likes on this video, I'll do that. I'll just go grab random brushes and see how we can create something cool out of using it on, you know certain images that's what we'll do but you know i'm about to go into my color my uh overall color uh i want to say color correction but you know color grading add my select colors and my color balances you know once you get to a point where you're like okay i'm done with the image now it's just time to balance out the color on everything You know, I'm going for this night vibe. You know, this looks really nice. Nice little purple blue look. Have the eye popping with the red to match the, the collar and the, the blazer. As you can see, the blazer is clean, cuz. You see the blazer with the black, the black uh velvet like button up shirt. All I need right now is some rings. I'm in the, I'm 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 all the way in the game. Certified gangster. I'm loving this look right here. Ooh. I see myself pulling up on a motorcycle like the girl Kill Bill or, or I could be pulling up in a, a black taxi, luxury taxi, hopping out the back. 
I can have my personal driver. Now I'm adding some more depth, adding some little, you know, darkness to it. I have most of the light pop up from up top. Because it's where like the moon is kind of coming from. Now I'm just going to kind of compare it. But speaking of moon, did you guys see how it went from like day to night? Almost like day to afternoon, just by the color grade? I just noticed that myself. I said night, but I had to think about it. I said, hold up, night a few minutes ago was during the day. So, um, yeah, playing with colors and matching stuff can really help. Your practice, you got to learn it. I always bring my stuff back into Capture One, and I add more tweaks to it, though. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the before and after. Um, about an hour and some change worth of work. I love showing before and afters and really show all the work that went into it. Until the next video, I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I appreciate it. And join my Patreon if you want to see more behind the scenes footage. Check you guys later.